Enzo, the rematch you've been craving, it's coming in August. Yeah, it's the one I wanted. Um, you know, I think it's the one the fans want as well. Uh, just really looking forward to it. You know, nice to be on in Cardiff. Uh, I think it's the uh, same day as uh, the opening of the Premiership. So we've got uh, Swansea playing, we've got Cardiff playing. So, you know, it's a, it's a big day for Wales. It's a massive bill and there's some fantastic fights on there. But, uh, I mean, your focus will be very much on uh, the return with Oville. What was your view of the stoppage on the first fight? Uh, well, to be honest, I, I didn't feel hurt. I didn't feel... He, I, I wouldn't say he didn't have no power, but I didn't feel that it was anything that was going to trouble me, the shots I was taking. Uh, the ref looked at me and I, I looked back at him and I basically just all my hands said, what? You know, I couldn't believe what he was looking at. And I went home that night and I thought, was I, was I a bit too harsh on him? Did, I, did he see my leg go or something like that? Something like, I didn't feel nothing. Uh, and I watched it over and over again, and it, it was nothing there. Like so, but you know, people get me chastising John Lewis. He's a good man. He's a good referee. Yeah, I feel he's made a mistake. I think he knows he made a mistake. But unfortunately, that's the way my year went last year. Did he say anything to you after the fight? Uh, he, he mumbled a sorry to me. I think, um, but it was it was just I was just, you know, I was just devastated on a night that wasn't really taking much in. Oval thinks he had you going. Yeah, he can, th he can think all he wants. If he watched the shot cleanly, the, the, the only right hand he landed, he caught me in the eye. Uh, it, obviously, yes, my, my head probably snapped back, but that's not, that's not a sign of uh, being hurt. Uh, so he can, he can think all he wants. You know, we come up with a tactic last time uh, to box. You know, it was my first time down at 12 stone 7, so just trying to conserve a bit of energy, see how I react to the weight cut. Uh, it was, it was fine, but this time it's not going to be no boxing. It's going to be Enzo of all come forward uh, and bring a bit of violence. You know that that that's when me when I'm at my best. Well, he doesn't think he can get a points decision in Cardiff in front of the it, Welsh fans. It's, it's not going to points, and you know at the end of the day, it's, judges are there. Judges won't be from Wales. Judges will be probably from England rather than Wales. So you know, don't don't look into that. He, I know what he's going to do. He's going to try and knock me out. I'm going to knock him out. Uh, and it's going to be an exciting fight for the fans. You know, he likes he likes to come forward. I'm at my best when I come forward, uh, and I can't wait. How much have you genuinely got left, Enzo? I mean, you've nothing left to prove in this game. No, you know, I, I won world titles, British, European. Um, you know, I, I, just had a, I had a bad year last year, and I think uh, a lot of people know the death of my dad and my little boy got diagnosed with autistic. Uh, you know, I just had a horrendous year, and you know, I, maybe some of my poor performances I, I blamed on them. So. Um, I had a call to go out to Germany sparring uh, with Robin Krasnicki, who boxed Nathan last time. Uh, I took the opportunity and if I'd have gone out there and felt I struggled in any way or didn't feel happy, I would have called it a day because I would have known then I, I got nothing left. But I went out there, I've come back happy. You know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna talk about what happens in sparring. So, you know, that's a, that's a call between us boxers that stays in the gym. Uh, but I've just come back and I'm happy. Um, I'm ready to go. If you were to win the Commonwealth title, would that be enough to satisfy you? I, I'm just, I'm just concentrating on it. That's, that's the one I want. You know, that's the one that's missing. And you know, I, I love, I love to fight. I love to fight. I love to box. Uh, I enjoy the sport. I watch every, every fight I can see. Uh, I train youngsters. I, I take the youngsters around fighting. I got my coaching badge. You know, I, just, I just love the sport we're in. And um, you know, it's, it's great. To, Box Nation are showing so many good quality fights, not not just on our shows, but across the Atlantic as well. Now, you're a massively popular figure in the fight game in Wales, across Britain. Nobody wants to see you stay in the sport longer than perhaps you should. Have you come under any pressure from friends and family to, to move on, you know? No, it's, you know, it's a, yeah, a lot... I would put it. A lot of the bad losses I've had has come from my own negligence. You know, I, I like to play the not not play to the crowd, but I like to fight when I when I got knocked out by Alexander Frankel. It was a bad knockout. Um, you know, I had him going. I, I thought I was finishing. The, the gentleman helped me in the corner. Carlins. He said, "Just use that long, solid, stiff jab, and he's ready to quit." No, in my eyes, now I'm going to finish it now. Uh, and I threw it right down, made a mistake, got bang, got caught. Uh, no one's going to make me retire by myself. Um, you know, at the end of the day, if, if, I, if I retire because someone told me to retire, um, and I couldn't live with myself, I'd be a nightmare to live with. Say, say my wife told me to retire, and I did, a couple of years down the line, I'd be an absolute nightmare to live with. So when I, when I feel that I haven't got anything left, I am. And, you know, I do respect that a lot of people uh, are fond of me, and, you know, I'm, uh, I, like I said, I just, like, I just love boxing, I love being in the sport, and 
if I'd come back from Germany and I'd struggled and I didn't feel I had it, I'd been the first one to say I, I haven't got it no more. But I felt great, I felt good, uh, and you, yeah. Oval McKenzie says he's planning to retire you. Yeah, he's planning to retire me all he wants. You know, uh, people people say I got to be careful, I got to survive the first three rounds. He better try and survive the first three rounds. Um, you know, it's. It's not going to be. It's not going to be a case of I'm going to come in here and say yes. I'm going to. I'm going to dance around with Mackenzie for 12 rounds. He's not going to say that. You know, at the end of the day, he's going to try and knock me out. I'm going to really try and knock him out, uh, and I can't wait to get on.